Mm-hmm. So I'm just wondering, you know, why why do we approach arousal in such a disconnected way? I don't. You know what it is. As we spoke earlier on, it's it's about communication, mm-hmm. and so many women. I'm going to put the onus on, on women. Yeah. Don't understand their body. That's it. Doesn't know what turns them on. Doesn't know what the erogenous zone is. If we talk about self love or to go examine yourself and figure out what turns you on, then you're also like, oh no, it's it's, it's shameful yes. to know who you are as a person or know what turns you on. Mm. So in turn, then you'll be able to say to your partner, mm. had a show a couple of weeks ago, are men responsible for women's orgasm? Mm-hmm. It mm. helps, mm-hmm. but we are the 80%. Mm. We are responsible for own orgasms. Mm. We are responsible yeah, we for are own responsible orgasms. For orgasms. So I better get some. I mean, I, I everyone knows. Mm. Well, not everyone knows. Yeah. You're, you're going to learn now that in May of 2020 was the first time mm-hmm. I ever used a vibrator before. Mm-hmm. And I still can't go to the internal vibrator. I'm just still on external stimulation, right. which I've heard now that I've done more research mm. that majority of women do stay external with their vibrations but yeah. there's a lot that use the dildo and all of these other things internally mm. to turn themselves on and to give themselves pleasure mm-hmm. um i i really enjoyed the experience because for obvious reasons but <laughs> also because i was in control of what i liked mm. like you know more of this more of that and i didn't have to tell anybody i just started you know feeling myself out to figure out what it was that I liked. Mm -hmm. And so now when I want to rub one out, it becomes much easier because I already know what to hit. (laughs) And that's the kind of lover I want. (laughs) I wanted to take the time to learn me Mm -hmm. so that when we have to do a quickie, we know what I want. You know what I mean? mean. (laughs) And I like that a lot. And like, I mean, for me, um, sometimes I feel like some women are actually afraid of orgasm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I true. used to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah I would stop favorite. myself mm-hmm. from feeling that, you know, that momentum. Mm. I wouldn't know where it was going, so I would be, I would back down from it. I was afraid of it. What were you afraid of? Um, I think that's from my, from the trauma that okay. I experienced mm-hmm. as with mm-hmm. abuse. Mm-hmm. Not, I was, I don't know how you were introduced to orgasming, but mm-hmm. I was introduced to that sensation through other people molesting yeah. me, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like I didn't learn about myself. For myself, mm. I learned, and so many women, mm. we learn about ourselves through the men we interact with, the men that we lie down with. Mm. And because of that's, if that's the way he wants it, then that's what we just learned to do. Mm. And so that's been my experience. So this journey of like self-expression and self-liberation sexually mm. is really a learning process for me. Mm. So thank goodness you're on my side because you were going <laughs> to free my vagina. <laughs> We're going to free yeah. the vagina. We're gonna free, and, and to free my vagina means you're going to free, free me here. here. Right? So this is what my journey has been on. And I've gotten much, much better. So I'm not stopping no orgasm. In fact, it's like, yeah, let it flow. Because there's lots of things, because there's certain, I've told you this before, there's certain cannabis strains that can either dry a woman out or turn you right the F up. You know what? I've never done cannabis. I've mm. never done weed. But mm. you know what? Oh now that I've had her, she goes, see, okay. she's going to free the vagina. Okay. I'm free the vagina. Free her. She's going to free me with the cannabis. What relationship <laughs> is not good without reciprocity? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's right here. Maybe he can free our vagina in a different hey. way. In mentally. French. Mentally. Yeah. In French. Oui, oui. <laughs> he said, we oui, we. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's that's why I think mm. that the way to an orgasm is through arousal. It and it doesn't always have to be the destination mm-hmm. because I think there's a journey that happens it's with a arousal. Mm, right. a you know? Talk to me about your arousal journey when you're with someone that you really are feeling. Mm, and and I think you you said it right there, somebody who I'm really feeling. Yes. And so Be that has to be the, the attraction has to be there primarily. And once the attraction is there, for me, I like um, like Donna said, I really love the mental aspect of you know, you're like sapiosexual. Yes. Oh, I really love that. I, like so, when a woman shows me she's able to, you know, like really, really, like create the mm. environment within my mind. Now I'm like, oh snap! Okay, where are we going with this? <laughs> and I was like, so where are we going with it? Like, I'm I'm an adventurous guy, so you know what I'm. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I mean, like, like, Lock going? God, you feel are, that are in your chest? Are we going to Ghana? Are we going to Jamaica? Aruba? Where are we going? Where are we going? Like, I mean, like, I'm there for the ride. And so it's like, that's something where, like, for me, I really love when um a, a woman is, like, really in control of herself. Like, Donna, Donna, Donna you're so right. Because I think when a woman is in control of herself, 
especially sexually, yeah. it, it does allow her to really operate and move in, in a way where she's able to also guide you mm-hmm. through her world as well. Is that why younger yes. guys like older women? That could be. For me, mm. like, that, that could be that could be because you know like yeah. with age that, that she had had different experiences where she could you know also guide is that arousing world. to you oh my goodness oh look. <laughs> give me a give me give me about five minutes guys <laughs> only five minutes i know ah, right <laughs> my ego my ego now is right. now where's the pen and the shit like that. oh my goodness no i'm just you know i, I i'm <laughs> curious because you know as mm-hmm. i get older there are a lot of younger men mm-hmm. that if they actually like me they're like oh will you have children with me i'm like like, no, no. <laughs> I'm not having children with you. So then it becomes, well, what's left? Because mm-hmm. you're pretty dope. Mm-hmm. So obviously sex is what's left in that mm-hmm. kind of relationship. Mm-hmm. And, you know, friendship. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I always wonder, <laughs> sex, <laughs> friendship, yeah. Yeah. which one do you want? Do, and only the, the, you know, the talented few can have both. Uh. But very few. <laughs> very few. That's a very small market right there. <laughs> but in, in, in that relationship, it's mm-hmm. arousing for a younger man to want you. Mm-hmm. And then it's it's arousing to want to be asked to teach. But if you're mm-hmm. a strong woman mm-hmm. and you're always in that position of power and control, mm-hmm. that can sometimes be why I know I want a man to kind of like, in a sense, yeah. manhold, yeah, exactly. manhandle me, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Do you like a man? Listen, I, I, mm-hmm. You like the man's man? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> honestly, and, and not saying that, that I'm a strong person, but I'm mm-hmm. very... um. I like a man to play their role. Mm. It is what it is. Mm. You know the what I mean? Role. The, the <laughs> role. <laughs> Flip me on the goddamn wall yeah. if you want, yeah. but you yeah. have to play the, yeah. the role. Yeah. Hold your ankle right I, there. I remember. <laughs> so after I was married for 20 odd years mm. and after divorce, my first, I started dating this guy, right? Mm. And I told him to smack me, but he mm. was so gentle. He's just, that little tap. I'm just, dude, it's harder. <laughs> that little tap. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> and then I said, what? I want it hard, but I don't want to hurt you. He's younger? He was like two years younger than oh, I was. Oh, just two years? Two, but he was in a long-term relationship with an mm. older woman who mm. taught him. Oh. So he was still, so she was the first person for yes. him, and he you was see? just so gentle. Mm. But I want mm. someone to throw me a goddamn wall yeah. if I want to. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, but, you know what, for the poor guys, because they get con- mm. confused. I would mm-hmm. think. You can speak to this, Mike. I don't know. Mm. But I feel like men just really want to know what to do. Yes. But... They have to approach every relationship differently because mm-hmm. it's a different person. Yes. Yeah, you yes. can't just keep bringing the same tricks to mm. the same every woman. Exactly. I feel like this is my public service announcement. Uh, this has been an LA public <laughs> service announcement. Woman every is woman is different. Yes. Treat her that way. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 but you know what? You're so right because um, when it comes to you know like um, the destination, the orgasm, like mm-hmm. the, the end result. There's so many rules as well that, you know, um, like, so from on both sides, I mean, like, um, for us guys now, you know, you have to be aware, not, you know, consent and everything is very important. Uh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> w- w- like, while you're there and everything, you know, you you may want to really show up as a man, but then again, like... The Me Too got you fucked I, up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, snap, am I going to be Me Too? You know, like, and I mean, so it's like, it's, it's something where... It be, like a, a lot of thinking comes into play, and then you know it's like you just like you get you get in your own way, mm-hmm. like, and I mean it's like that's something where you have to really gauge the person that you're with, yeah. the comfort level, and then I think mm-hmm. once you guys really do find your spot, mm-hmm. then it can yeah, flow. So, so men can block their <laughs> orgasm too, then. Okay. Like um, you know what we like um, I think for us it's easy to just um orgasm, mm-hmm. so us don't worry about us. But then like <laughs> it, it, it's more so an ego thing where it's like okay how. Well, can you satisfy your woman for mm-hmm. real? Not when you know she's she got the vibrator when you leave and you go to the bathroom, which now we know with ladies. <laughs> Not when you know like Show you secret. Leave. Exactly. <laughs> oh, just right, well, you know what? It's a better way. Better they learn this way. Mm-hmm. Because if they if now if you think that a woman is gonna mm-hmm. do that, mm-hmm. maybe you're gonna assure there's more pleasure happening yeah. so she doesn't do it. It's you against the vibrator, not yes, just Yeah, it's you against the vibrator. <laughs> but again, mm-hmm. if you're aroused, if you're mm-hmm. stimulated and aroused by the partner you're with, mm-hmm. then you don't have to worry about mm-hmm. going and her going to get the vibrator because that arousal is going to create the experience that you're looking for, yes, I think. Yes. I mean, for me. Go um, ahead. Arousal mm-hmm. and wetness doesn't mean they're going to have an orgasm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? Isn't that crazy? It, it, that, mm-hmm. So as much as you're going to have penetration and she's mm-hmm. nice and wet, mm-hmm. doesn't guarantee an orgasm. Right. She may get a clitoral orgasm, but yeah. penetrative orgasm is 
where women are having the issues with the yes. clitoral is mm -hmm. and it's two different orgasms two mm -hmm. different feel mm -hmm. yeah right so mm -hmm. yeah you guarantee a clitoral but not mm -hmm. penetrative yeah mm -hmm. i think it all depends on the way it grows what what grows <laughs> the, the G spot, the, the way you that the what? penis goes in there, if it curves a certain way, mm. it might be able to touch that spot. It's your brain, it's it's your your brain, brain are. Mm. If you're, if you, as a woman, mm -hmm. if you're going to be in the bed and you're uncomfortable and you're mm. stiff mm. because of for whatever reason that mm. you're uncomfortable with, mm. it's, there's no flowing. Mm -hmm. There's no energy mm -hmm. flowing, yes, yes. okay. And if you're not guiding and figuring out where you're where where you're feeling aroused, because mm -hmm. arousal come in different areas of your body, right? Yes. So if you're feeling the arousal, let's see, from your breast, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't. You know, if you're there and you're mm -hmm. in a moment, this is where mm -hmm. mindfulness comes in. Because yes. if you're not mindful and being in the moment, you're mm -hmm. gonna lose that bad girl, mm -hmm. and you true. know she can. You can feel, as you mm -hmm. said, you can feel it mm -hmm. because you don't want to get too old. You don't want to have an orgasm. Mm -hmm. It's switched mm. wow. because you can move your mind. Mm -hmm. it's, listen, women don't understand how amazing mm. that they are. Mm. They can play with their orgasm. They mm. can play with their energy. Mm. They can carry the friggin' mm. orgasm mm. down to your clit internally. <laughs> but mm -hmm. if you're not in the moment, what's going to happen? We're not aroused anymore. Right. Right? Mm. So do you know what arouses you? Okay. I'm a mind person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. And if, mm -hmm. I, if, I, if I'm clicking with that person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm aroused because it's mm -hmm. just me and mm -hmm. him. Nobody right. else and anything exists. Mm -hmm. My phone is off. Mm -hmm. The TV probably is on or off, play music or whatever. I mean, you can't be thinking so much things and there's too much things going on in the brain. Mm -hmm. We have to be in the moment. just me and you alone mm -hmm. on this bed. I love that. You I know? Love it. I love it. <laughs> and it's okay. not easy. You know it's not easy as women. I mean, I'm speaking it, but it's not easy. Yeah. It's not. No. Because there's so many mind games. Too, too much. And, and I think um, that's where the stim stimulation comes in. So for a, you know, a man that cares enough for that you know, aspect, for the, the, the woman, of the mm -hmm. woman well, that's when you, know, they, you pick up the cues as to the her stimulations and the things that were so <laughs> paying like, attention exactly yes. right and, and so i guess that yes. presence yes. that presence of mind right? <laughs> yeah but it's true Be, yeah at the same time it's just like you know you know what okay we're about to go on a journey i'm here you're here okay now let's go yeah and, and that that liberation aspect yes. of just letting go okay letting we're go. going here all right how are we steering the ship Oops. okay Right? Uh, I like okay, it. Okay, we're okay, going to steer, right, yeah. steer the ship right mm -hmm. into Pandora's box because this seems like a oh, very yeah. good transition. Yeah.